All right, all right, guys. This is Acer Space Team BLA State 268. We are number one. And before we get started on today's video, which by the way is how to read a battle report in Last Shelter Survival, we're going to go in the ins and outs, how to use those menus, how to do everything you need to do. But first, I want to show you guys as a quick reminder, especially those in the new states who finally discover my videos, exactly how to access my content in the best way. Whether you're on a cell phone or on a laptop or any other device, all you'd ever have to do is access the YouTube app or go to youtube.com. You would hit the little search menu. You can simply type in my name, Tripleholics Gaming. If you hit that, it's going to pop up and at the top of the list, it will give you my actual gaming channel. If you click that channel, guys, you can either select videos to go through each individual video. I don't suggest that. Instead, Go through my playlist. I've separated majority of everything that I do. Guys, you can find out about your base levels, VIP, troops, parts, heroes, the classes, everything you might need to know, and you can view all of my playlists that way. It's quick and easy. That should help answer all your questions. Do that, then ask me in the comments. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm on one of my accounts now, and let me explain exactly how you access your battle reports. You would hit this menu button and you will hit the envelope underneath the three dots. Now from this point, the third option down, which should read battle report with the cross swords, will show you everything you need to know. When you click this, it will tell you the last different reports that were there. And if you click any one of these reports, it will bring up a menu that will show you everything that happened. It will first start with whether you won or lost. In this case, my farm account lost, followed by the RSS that that person gained, whether you took it or they took it from you, then the battle report will show you both the individuals, their placement on the map at the time with X and Y coordinates, as well as their power lost. Then it breaks down to how many kills that individual had, meaning how many that you actually killed on the other person. Fallen units means how many of your troops actually died. Wounded means how many of your units ended up in the hospital after the battle. Survived are the ones that didn't get hurt, but they were in the battle. Defeated casualties represents any units that were put in the hospital or killed, but were not involved in the battle. They were just sitting there inside of your city, not in an APC, yet got hurt because of the wreaking of havoc that happened. Then durability loss says how much of the durability or HP that your base actually lost from this one particular battle. Underneath, it will show you how many rounds actually happen within the battle, and then you move forward. Side note, kills, fallen units, and defeated casualties grant points during kill event. So you got to keep that in mind when you're trying to calculate your points on how many you're getting per hit. If somebody knocks out 150k defeated casualties, whether you had them on the road, off the road in your APC or not, they're getting their points for KE. Next, you can go ahead and swipe right. On this next menu, it will take you to each individual round and then it tells you how many turns it took to get the result, win or lose. And then it shows you the players in the round's specific results, followed by both players' heroes in their APCs. Now, if you'll notice where it says battle details right here in the middle of the screen, battle details highlighted in this pinkish color, it will then have a little arrow pointing down. That means that menu is currently being accessed. That is the default. If you scroll down, you will see the heroes in the APC of yours first, followed by the heroes in the opponent's APCs, and exactly how many skills they have unlocked, the level of the skills, what each one of the skills does. So for instance, if that individual has heroes you've never heard of, and they specifically have things that you've never seen, well then you can now look at what those skills do and the level that those skills are at and what they did specifically in this battle. Very, very, very important information. At the top right of the screen, you'll see it says round one, Battle continued for two turns. It also gives you the dates. But underneath the date at the top right, you're going to see a little play button. You can actually push and click this button. This button will actually show you exactly how the battle happened. You can even speed it up at the bottom right. We're not going to go through the entire video, but this will show you exactly what happened throughout the entire battle. Next. Back to the middle of our screen here, 
Next to battle details, you'll see unit attributes and it has a right arrow. You can actually click this particular button. This will show you not just the heroes that were involved in their levels and their skill, but it will show you the units that were inside of each APC that were involved in this battle. This, my friends, is the most important information in the game. So please, please pay attention. It will tell you how many units were inside each APC, which means this person, meaning myself, must not have a maxed out barracks because you can get to about 107,000 units. It will also tell you the first one with the cross source stands for might. You can click on each menu and it will tell you how they came up with that 314% where each individual thing comes from. Clearly, the highest amount comes from heroes, but then the second highest is technology, both of which are extremely important. And you'll notice there's something called Siege Attack. Siege Attack is something that happens when Reaper is involved, and there are other things involved as well. Long story short, though, that Siege Attack only works when you're attacking someone. It does not work the other way around. So you could take off 35% if, in fact, Reaper was not involved. Next, you'll have defense. It'll tell you what makes that up from buildings, alliance technology, class, doomsday conquest, heroes, parts, technology, etc. Next, you'll have parts, how those are currently affecting your APC. Then the second most important skill in the game, or stat rather, which would be HP, some from VIP, technology, etc. Last but not least, the one menu you cannot click is combat speed. Guys, that combat speed is the most important. In this particular battle, I don't have it all the way up. Um, it's definitely a lot, lot faster. I'm sure if I go to another one of these, yeah, you'll notice the combat speed is dramatically increased. Combat speed, guys, is an extreme stat. It is the most important stat in the game. It doesn't really get really, really important until late game because of the fact that it's something that's affected after base 25 for the most part. It's affected mostly by buildings, technology, etc. And of course, parts have a play in that as well. But that's going to be an entirely different video. I want you guys to take your time and go through each one of your battle reports, take a look at what makes up the might, what makes up the parts and the differences. Guys, if you study this information, especially the reports that you can download from the duels that you do every single week, you're going to learn some interesting information about the players that you're facing. And if you follow my guides on combat heroes, etc., you're going to learn how to beat even the toughest of opponents. If this information was even remotely helpful, guys, please like and subscribe. Leave any comments or suggestions in the the uh, comment section below, guys. If there's anything I missed, let me know. Otherwise, please feel free to follow through my playlist, go through my videos, simply search in what you think you need to know and look for that very, very easy to find Tripleholics gaming version of whatever you're asking for on YouTube. Either way, guys, like and subscribe. Acer of Spades, signing out.